Welcome to Vintage Bricks, James, your host. Today we are going to look at a little bit of pirate history. We'll go over the four waves of the pirate sets from 1989 to 97. And then, but we're first going to go through down a little rabbit trail. And I want to look at some real pirate history of the Caribbean. We'll begin our journey in the 1600s, where Spain was literally taking all the gold and uh, treasure they could from their colonies in Central and South America to fuel uh, their empire. Uh, the red in the map here shows where the Spanish held territories, and there's a, the arrows here will point to a couple little areas that were held by the British who were at war uh, with the Spanish. And so they wanted to disrupt this gold trade going back to feed uh, Spain. Uh, of course, this map is of the um, Caribbean islands, and you can see all the different little pirate vates that eventually got started. The first phase of the pirate history was between 1650 and 80, the Buccaneers phase. The Buccaneers were a group of French and English outlaws who established themselves in the Caribbean. Their prey was the Spanish ships and settlements. Uh, they were tolerated by the European powers, especially England, because they helped weaken the Spanish Empire. Here's a nice illustration by Howard Pyle of a buccaneer. Now remember, the buccaneers were like what they called privateers. So they were actually paid by the governments to rob the Spanish. So they were really you know, like mercenaries for hired and legally sanctioned by these governments. Next, we come to the golden age of piracy in the 1680s, which the Lego sets are really based on. So the end of the war of the Spanish secession which really was the war that prevented France and Spain from joining monarchies, leaves many sailors, who were previously buccaneers, unemployed and looking for a new way to make a living. So some of these sailors turned to piracy and work for themselves, self-employed, and the golden age of piracy begins. Here is an engraving of Bartholomew Roberts, who was the most successful pirate all of history, over 400 uh, confirmed robberies, and um, definitely one of the kings of the golden age of piracy. Well, the golden age of pirates had some pretty famous pirates, just like Lego has some pretty famous pirates. Davy Jones is one of the all-time favorite Lego pirates. Anyway, the most famous pirates of the Golden Age, such as Blackbeard, Captain Kidd, we just saw Bartholomew Roberts in the last one, they, they emerge as powerhouses. They capture ships, they loot settlements, making them rich and feared. Here is a print of Anne Bonny, who was a woman pirate, showing that they weren't all men, and, and Leo even had an Anne minifigure who played prominently in their early sets. Here she is, and the daughter of Bessie. Well, all good things come to an end in about the 1720s, the golden age of piracy ends. Most of the major pirates are killed or captured, and the threat of piracy greatly diminishes. This is one of the most famous engravings of Blackbeard and it was done in 1724, just a few years after Blackbeard was killed in the battle with the English. It's a, just a wonderful example of an historic print. And a few key events in pirate history, uh, culminating with Blackbeard's death in 1718, and Bartholomew, which we, Roberts, who we saw earlier, he was killed in 1722. So that pretty much brought the end to the golden age and now you can relive it in Legos. So from 1989 to 1997 there are really four waves of golden age pirate sets. First wave from 89 to 91 features pirates faction led by Captain Redbeard and the Imperial faction led by Governor Broadside who we see here and it's a couple of images there the second wave from 1992 to 93 features the Imperial Guard Redcoats led by Governor Broadside's successor, Admiral Woodhouse. Nice red outfit. 
Our third wave from 94 to 95 features Islanders faction led by King Kahuka, who were neutral, but sometimes they allied with the pirates or the Imperials. And they, what a great little faction they were. And then 1996, 97, we have the Imperial Armada faction led by the Conquistadors who wore Spanish style uniforms and helmets and were keeping the gold away from Redbeard and the gang. Well, nice. This is just why these are the classics of Legos. And hopefully you found this interesting seeing the little bit of history, very abbreviated, the Caribbean Pirates and Lego Pirates. I have a lot of reviews on different sets. Hey, if you get a chance, please subscribe and we'll be doing more reviews soon. Hope to see you soon.